This is Twit. One of the big things for me, and, and the, one of the things that did make my top 10 list was this notion of Windows 10 on ARM and when or if it will ever make sense um, compared to using an Intel compatible Is this uh, the year for Windows 10 on ARM? Yeah, and, you know, we'll see. <laughs> uh, you know, there are two problems for Qualcomm and for the platform, uh, one of which it looks like they're going to address with the 8CX chipset, which is performance. And then the other one, which is going to require a lot more work on the part of various partners, especially app developers, which is compatibility. And so I talk a lot about Photoshop Elements as an obvious example, but it's one thing that I run into. But what I found on the second generation Qualcomm chipset is that performance is still a little slow. And the sticking point is this compatibility thing. Um, they're going to address the biggest compatibility issue by bringing web browsers in native form. Uh, to the platform like Chromium and Firefox, which is excellent. And obviously Microsoft Edge, the new version, will be ported over as well. But it's, you know, the, the problem for this thing, which has been a problem for a lot of these um, kind of side versions of Windows 10, is that there's this gotcha moment. You know, you've got this thing that looks and works like Windows. It is Windows to you. It is Windows. And then you go to install something and it doesn't work. And it could be something you downloaded from the web. It could be a driver for your printer or, you know, scanner or whatever it might be. And it, it's it's kind of a terrible thing to do to people because in this case, for the most part, everything kind of works normally. And you might think you're fine and it, two weeks goes by or whatever it is. And then suddenly <coughs> you, you hit that moment. And they this is something that they need to get by. And uh, actually, a lot of my predictions are more questions than predictions. I don't actually, I'm not prepared to predict that they will solve these problems. I, I, I think they I think they will solve the performance stuff, but the compatibility thing is still a big open question. Yeah. Although it goes hand in hand, I mean. Yeah. I mean, well, you know, everyone has different priorities um, mm -hmm. and different needs and so forth. And I suppose for some people the you know, the epic battery life and all that kind of stuff will outweigh the other stuff. And 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 honestly, today, there's only one of these things in the world right now, but if you bought a Snapdragon 850 compatible computer... Um, Who makes that could, one? Uh, so, Lenovo does. Okay. You could probably live with the performance, unless, you know, obviously, you know, I don't know if you've read videos or play video games or whatever, but, you know, for day-to-day -day stuff, it's, it's, it's like pretty much right there. But it's just it's this gotcha thing with compatibility that I think is going to be a continued problem. Mm. Unless you're a first line worker. Well, yeah, I mean, actually, so in that in that <laughs> case, you're either running it in kiosk mode or it's mm -hmm. some kind of a lockdown device where they've specifically enabled just the apps that you need. So they, they know going into that the workplace does that this thing's going to work for you. In fact, it might be advantageous for it not to be right. overly compatible with stuff because they don't want you screwing around. Right. Right. On True. The device. <laughs> yep. Kind of the rationale behind a Chromebook too, right? Yeah, yeah. It's not yep. as attractive mm -hmm. to people who want to play Minecraft or something. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. But then jo the latter half of latter half of neck of twenty nineteen is when we see the really truly full powered ARM devices, yeah. right? Yep. So yeah, then so, that gets more interesting. Right, and we we only know of one other eight fifty based device that's coming to market from Samsung. And I don't know, CES is next week. Maybe there'll be announcements. Uh, but according to Qualcomm, uh, these two chipsets will will exist in the market together. And that kind of makes sense. You know, we can have lower end devices that are less expensive on the older one and so forth. So it's an open question. You know, HCX will see if the performance thing is real. <laughs> I think it's going to be better, you know, but we don't know for sure. <laughs> 